that like everything is not a single person on the roads it's just all cleared out what's up guys um it is like 4 30 a.m i need to be in there but it's been a long morning i figured i'd bring you guys along i work at a new station um work for abc at wtok tv it's a local I work at a local news station um, but there's definitely been procedures that have changed ever since this whole coronavirus thing came up. I mean, it's all we talk about in the news. So I guess I I just thought I'd bring you with me, show you how things have changed in the in the news center. I mean, you guys don't know how it was before, but it's pretty obvious that these aren't like normal precautions for like the everyday thing when there's not a pandemic going on. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys in, show you a little bit, you know how weird it is. I'm kind of what I gotta do if I can. Um, I'm gonna try to film and not look weird as possible, but I'm getting into vlogging, vlogging again, so it's like I feel weird being doing it in front of people and all that, but also I don't, so it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Anyways, let's get in there. Right off the bat. Lysol gloves, gloves that you want to immediately put on because touching all this stuff, you don't want to get anybody sick or get sick. So we gotta put these on. Boom. Now we can go set up the studio. So let's hop in there. What's up, Andrew? This What'd it do? What do you need screen everything kind of set up right here we're ready for the news to begin at 5 a.m i'm gonna wait to interview people after the um the news is over um i'm gonna go ahead and get my headset on get ready for the news what i do is um move the cameras into the places they need to be move them to the next set for the next show and kind of get everything set up so here's my headset my mic pack and my battery. Let's go ahead and get it on. the newscast was over I went and interviewed some of so my so co I am Intisar Faulkner and I am the anchor of Good Morning Meridian at WTOK. Corona has affected me deeply because I obviously am still having to come to work so we have like this shelter in place order but I still have to leave my house every day and the cases are increasing rapidly where we're at so it's kind of scary stepping outside but while we're at work we literally are like putting on hand sanitizer every five minutes wiping down the desks wiping down mics every Every time I touch a script, I feel like I have to put on hand sanitizer now. So it's definitely a different dynamic of how we're doing news, but 
I guess we'll get through it. Um, well, thank God I haven't had to do any reporting for like the past two weeks because I've been um, producing one of our live shows for Sunday night. So I've been mostly in-house, but it's really lonely because all of the reporters are at home reporting. So pretty much the newsroom is like vacant most of the day. So I'm pretty lonely now <laughs> compared to before. Do you have anything else you would that like how it's affected you at all? Um, well, since I'm not from Mississippi, um, I guess it also has affected me mentally like when I do get outside of news and go home because I don't have family here. So I guess I don't have anyone to, you know, hug or talk to. Um, so I have to send like virtual hugs to my family, I guess, at this time. So it gets a little lonely, but yeah. So you would say coronavirus is pretty out of pocket? Uh, is really out of pocket. Mm. Corona. Go away. <laughs> All right, my name's Rennie Diggs. I'm a production assistant here at WTOK. All right, and how has it affected how you do your job, the coronavirus? Is? Well, before we were able to actually talk around with each other, we go before and after shows. But now, is usually we have to, you know, practice social distancing, stay six feet apart. Every time we come in, we have to wear gloves, put on hand sanitizer. Always be careful of each other. Um, one big thing, always check your temperature for coming to work. That's a new thing that I'm having to adjust to. Who has to like, check that temperature all the time? You know? yeah, who has thermometers? Yeah, who has all thermometers that? All, like, on deck, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty weird for me, but all in all, it's pretty much just the same. It's just seeing the city the way it is. That's the biggest difference right now. So as you can see, went around, got a couple of people's opinions on it, how it's affected them and how they do stuff around here. And, um, it's pretty interesting seeing how um, it affects every job now. I mean, and how it affects also their personal life. And yeah, I'm gonna clock out and I got some more stuff to show you. There's also, before you come in the studio, there's this right here. You can just like pause it, pause the video and read this if you, if you want. Boom, and we're out the day another weird thing that just happened not weird but would not have happened without the coronavirus is I just got a folder with my name on it stating and the folder inside states that my car is now an official station vehicle but yeah I mean I would say the news world is definitely very affected. I mean, we have to come in every day no matter what because we have to bring the people the news about the coronavirus. Um, so is that I would say a good thing is, I mean, the people in the news station constantly are hearing about it and talking about the coronavirus so they know and are very smart about staying sanitary and being home and quarantined, so that's awesome. Um, the fact that I work with those kind of people that use their brain a little bit, you know, big brain on their Jimmy Neutron type shit. That's kind of the main thing for today. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really didn't go over a lot of, or I didn't show a lot of what I normally do throughout the day. It was more just focused on this one topic, the coronavirus, you know, and how it affects the news station. Not exactly how I do stuff at the news station and, you know, how fun it can be and enjoyable it is and just like the community that is based in that building. Um, so if you guys want to see more of this kind of thing, you know, comment below, let me know, and uh, I'd totally love to do that. Um, I, I love my job, and I love making videos, clearly. I mean, I, I do it for a living, and I do it in my free time. I mean, it's, it's definitely a passion. My hair is whack. I, I gotta cut it, or I gotta start doing something with this. I mean, it is out of pocket. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day. Uh, stay sanitary, stay quarantined, and peace out. Alright, so there's like one more thing that I forgot to show you guys, which is the fact that every single, this is our, all the stories that we run throughout the news, it's our rundown, and everything is coronavirus related, like there's not one thing I don't think that is not coronavirus, maybe one. This is down the ones that were behind it. And even the ones that you see where it's like edible arrangements, it's for like people that do stuff with coronavirus. Like it's, it's just never, oh, the weather. That doesn't really talk about coronavirus. So there's that. But yeah, it's kind of taking over every aspect.
pretty crazy.